This is Matt with Stoner Car Care. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between SiO2, ceramic, and hybrid ceramic coatings. This is the start of a new series called Science of Car Care. We get asked a lot about the differences between all the different SiO2 technologies and today we're going to set the record straight. SiO2 is a crystalline solid which is most commonly found in sand quartz, and it's also a major component of glass. SiO2 technology refers to any coating in which Si and O, or silicon and oxygen, bonds are formed onto the surface of your car either by a reactive process, like a ceramic coating, or a silicone resin is actually directly applied to the surface, like in a hybrid ceramic coating or a traditional quick detailer. Traditional quick detailers often use some combination of standard non-reactive silicone fluids and or carnauba wax, which provide a really deep gloss on your car surface, but because of the low reactivity, they don't provide any long-lasting protection. Silicone fluids are, typically have low reactivity, uh, they're really slippery um, and they provide excellent gloss. However, they're incredibly inert, meaning they don't react with anything, uh, not your car's surface, and also not with itself. So it pretty much just remains an oil no matter how long it sits there. So this means that they're not very durable, these types of coatings. So if you apply it to your car within a couple of weeks, typically silicone oils have been removed uh, by weather, um, by water, rain, um, by the grit from the road as you keep driving, um, but they're not really gonna hang around for too terribly long. True ceramic coatings, like our glass ceramic coating, contains polysilazane. Polysilazanes cannot be dispersed into water because of their high reactivity, but are traditionally dispersed into some kind of a solvent. Polysilazanes provide a lot more durability than a typical silicone polymer because of this reactivity. For example, uh, your car, which is actually anionic or slightly negatively charged, this is due to oxygen atoms that are hanging out on your car's surface. When the polysilazane type coatings are applied to the surface, the SI atoms in the polysilazane begin to react when they see moisture in the air with those oxygen atoms on the surface, creating a very durable bond. The resulting coating is a very hard quartz-like coating that will last much longer than a quick detailer. When you apply a ceramic coating that contains polysilazane, after you've applied it and buffed it off, that polysilazane will initiate a reaction with the moisture from the air, not necessarily water that you're gonna to apply to the car, but actually just moisture from the air. High humidity days, for example, your polysilazane coatings will cure a lot faster than on low humidity days. Hotter days, typically we'll see your ceramic coating cure a lot faster as well. Heat and moisture are what initiate the reaction from polysilazane to SiO2. So this is uh, polysilazane on its own, just cured up and cross-linked. As you can see, it's, it's really durable and brittle. Almost, if you can crumple it up into almost what looks like quartz. Right. Very, very hard, very brittle. Over here is uh, the ceramic coating formulation. So as you can see, it's a little bit more clear, a little less brittle, but it can conform to the surface of your car but still remains really, really hard. This is a, an exaggeration of, of how thick uh, it would be on your car surface, but this is for, for demonstration purposes. You can just see how, you know, again, how, how hard it is. It's kind of hard to tear, uh, but still is gonna provide that really, really good uh, chemical resistance. Ceramic coatings are very chemically resistant and can typically only be broken down by abrasion. So for example, our glass ceramic coating breaks down over time through your windshield wiper usage. Hybrid ceramic coatings, like our hybrid ceramic detailer, are quite literally a hybrid between a ceramic coating that contains polysilazane and traditional quick detailers, which just contains silicone and wax. Hybrid ceramic coatings have SiO2 resins that are already pre-reacted that then bond to the surface. This creates a similar SiO2 network on your car, but it's not gonna be nearly as strongly bonded as a true ceramic coating will be. The resulting coating from a hybrid ceramic is going to be a little less durable. However, the trade-off there is it's a lot easier to apply than a true ceramic coating that contains polysilazane. Hybrid ceramic coatings will form sort of a semi-solid or gel uh, that are still really durable, but not quite as durable or hard as a ceramic coating. So when we say durability, what we really mean is how long the coating lasts when exposed to the natural elements like UV or road grime, uh, how often you wash your car, 
you know, every time you use a microfiber or a wash mitt, you know, you're slowly applying minor abrasives to the car. So the only things that can really break down the ceramic coating is abrasion. So soaps and other cleaning agents that you might use to clean your car with are not really gonna break it down, uh, but really just the UV abrasion road grime over time will slowly break it down. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have topics of interest for a future discussion, let us know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching.